These might be the best sneakers of this year, if not for sure on everyone's top 10 list. We've waited almost 15 years. Today we're gonna be taking a look at the highly anticipated Air Jordan 12 Cherry. Oh yeah, and if you didn't know by now, my name is DJ and this is the DNA show. Hey. Now before we get into the details of this shoe, you know we gotta talk about the history first because this shoe is legendary. Legendary. Back in 1997, MJ was on his way to win his fifth championship and defy all the odds. And along that journey, he had debuted the Air Jordan 12 and wore a bunch of cool colorways that everybody wanted. We saw him making a bunch of crazy plays in the Taxi 12s, and we can't forget the iconic flu game. He literally dropped 38 points with the flu in the finals. We also remember seeing him in the playoff 12s, which was another fan favorite. And then a shoe that a lot of people still love to this day, the Cherry 12s. Oh yeah, and we can't forget to mention the sleeper out of the bunch, the Obsidian 12s. Trust me, I could go on and on about the history and nostalgia behind the Air Jordan 12s in particular. We'll get to that in another video, but for now, let's go ahead and take it to the studio so I can break down this shoe. So as you can see by the box, giving you that classic nostalgic OG vibe on the box, all brown on the upper, you got your Nike swoosh, giving you that more of a vintage look. Then you have the Just Do It right here on the side of the box. On the front end, it has the Nike branding. And then on the other side of the box right here, you have engineered and built to the exact specifications of championship athletes from around the world. And just by looking at the box alone, it's just giving me so many nostalgic vibes from back in the 90s. And I'll show you what I mean by that in a second because the other Air Jordan 12 boxes that retroed in the past, they had a little bit of a different box. Now looking at the size tag, it says Air Jordan 12 Retro White, Black, Varsity, Red. And retail on these is $210. Now lifting open the lid of the box, you got your tan paper. And peeling that back, you got some white paper. And then you got the shoe. Oh, you got the shoe. Okay, first impression looking at these, let me feel them first. Honestly, these are pretty solid. So on this channel, I love breaking down all the styles, cuts, and details, giving you guys all the in-depth looks at the shoe. And we always start with the bottom and work our way up. So let's go ahead and get into it. Looking at the outsole right here, you got your classic Air Jordan 12 bottom, all red around with the gum area. And then you have a black pod with the herringbone traction right here on the front and the back end of the foot. You got a black jump man and then a white 23 right here and a small rubber piece on the front end around the toe. And then when it comes to the carbon fiber plate in the middle of the foot, this is very similar to the original Air Jordan Jordan 12s from back in the day with the white and black carbon fiber print throughout that area. Now going up to the midsole right here, you have all red throughout the front end and around the toe. And on the back end of the heel, you have a white foam area here on the inside and outside of the foot. Just above that in the center of the foot, you have a plastic piece here with the Jumpman branding inside of that. And then you have a mud guard on the side of the foot with the textured red leather. Now, one thing that I can say is the red on this shoe does pop a little bit more than the previous retro in 2009. Now, this is the great debate that I have with a lot of different retros and that's the material on the upper when it comes to the 12s in particular i'm telling you right now the ogs were something else bro and even looking at these images that i pulled from online you can definitely tell the quality and the thickness of the leather and it just was really really soft and felt really nice now typically in these situations in the past let's say five years or ten years or so whatever you'd like to say the jordan 12s the leather it's just been like okay it's almost even felt kind of plasticky sometimes but with this pair in particular i can say these do feel a lot better it has a nicer softer feel to it and it's definitely giving you more of a premium vibe when it comes to this shoe and honestly i'm not mad at it now going on to the tongue right here you have an all white tumbled leather as well well, these come standard with a pair of white rope laces and then you have your two three branding right here in the center of the tongue with a black stitch and then a jump man stitch in the center of the tongue at the top of the tongue as well now going to the back of the tongue and behind the sock liner you have an all black nylon and then on the insole it's all black with a red jump man now going to the back end of the shoe around the heel, you have a classic hit that we always see on the Air Jordan 11s. You have the quality inspired by the greatest player ever with the Jordan branding in the middle of that. The Jumpman at the top end around the pull tab and then the 23 inside of the rubber area on the back end of the heel. And a couple more details that I really appreciated when it comes to this shoe, they stayed consistent with the silver pieces right here at the top end of the shoe. But the biggest detail to me that stood out was actually on the pull tab on the back end. If you look inside and on the border area of it, it's all white when it comes to the interior material of that area. And that's very similar to how the original was and how the 2009 retro was. 
So I love how they kept that consistency and didn't switch it up because for me, it also helps create a little bit of depth right there on the pull tab, just compared to it being all black material throughout, gives it a little bit more character to the shoe and make it stand out a little bit. So that's definitely something I wanted to point out for you guys if you didn't really pay attention to it in the past. Honestly, I feel like we need to go even more in depth when it comes to the history and I do need to go back and retrack and show you guys the other versions, but you guys kind of get the gist of it based off of the review. Either way, at the end of the day, very nostalgic, very iconic shoe and I'm very interested to see what you guys think and if you were able to get the shoes on the shock drop or if you're planning to grab these shoes when they come out so obviously you guys can tell I think the shoe is fire we get it but I want to see what you guys think so if you haven't already make sure you follow me on Instagram so you can participate in the polls and see all the results here on the channel but I asked a simple question is the shoe fire or is the shoe trash this is what the people said 86% of the people said fire and 14% of the people said trash let me know what you think down below in the comment section. And you know we had to compare these to the flu games because it's basically the reverse version, the black and red compared to the white and red. And I'm interested to see what people think about those because there has been a lot of hype around these, but I still feel like I like the flu games more. I don't know, that's just kind of how I feel. I'm interested to see what y'all think as well. Let me know down below in the comment section. But I asked them the same question, which one do you like more? And this is what the people said. 68% of the people chose the flu games and 32% of the people chose the cherries. And I get it. To me, I think darker shoes do look better. Even at looking at these two shoes right here, like, <sighs> they're both fire, honestly, at the end of the day. I can't, it's hard to compare two grills, two classics. But if I were to only pick one, I would go with the flu games. You know, it's like picking between your kids. Like, which one do you pick? You know what I'm saying? I get it, I get it. You're supposed to love them all. But at the end of the day, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Good luck to everybody who's trying to cop the shoes. And if you want to see a how to cop video or any other videos like this when it comes to reviews, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button and leave me some comments down below. See you guys in another one. I'm out. I would never let you down. Are you guys interested in taking your shoe game to another level, but you just don't know where to start? I built a full program just for somebody like you, the Six Figure Sneakerhead. It's an eight week program that takes you through all the steps that you need to know. We have a full community where you can engage with everybody else that's going through the same program as you. We have monthly live meetups where you can connect with me and other members on the inside. And we set goals for each other and hold each other accountable. Also, we give away a free pair of shoes every single month with different challenges. If this is something that's for you or you're looking to take your game to the next level or even flip your sneakers to turn that into real estate, this is the place where you need to be. I can help you with finding loans and remodeling properties and getting yourself on the right path to become a millionaire if that's something that you desire. If this sounds like something for you, hit the link down below in the description and get signed up today. This is more than just sneakers. I wanna see people grow and succeed in all aspects of life. Let's in my DNA, the only choice I like to make but I'm aware today I would never let you down It's in my DNA The only choice I like to make What I'm aware today I was made for it It's in the DNA I was made for it It's in the DNA I was made for it